Well, hello and welcome back to another episode of Bad Water Lakes. And yeah, last time we were over here, uh, we built this lovely little mining area with four smelters and everything a bot would need. Probably should look to put something for the beavers that actually deliver stuff here, but meh, that is for another time. Now, what is for another time? Well, we are planning to get to starting of the battery build, or at least the layout for it, but we have a problem. We have a problem. Even though we have a bad water situation coming in here, look at the demand for power versus what we have. So even if I throw in the batteries, you know, there, there's just nothing to charge. So let's come in and we're gonna do our temporary thing. Well, actually, this was supposed to be a permanent thing, but it's, it's not gonna be, uh, you know, it's gonna be permanent. So let's come in here uh, and we are going to start with building all of these lovely, 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 uh, what we got here, water wheels. Now the problem we're going to have is the beavers are probably gonna try to come down and we're gonna prevent that. They have other access. They can come across here, across this bridge, the Bridge of Doom, across, uh, you know, these little platforms here and right along the current levee wall, which we are going to have to remove uh, more than likely, or we can wait. Hmm. We might end up waiting or we'll just send the beaver brigade. Like beavers are happy to have something to do, but they don't know, but they might go swimming. Uh, 14 and a half days and I wants the power. So, hmm. Decisions, decisions. So let's prepare for that eventuality. So we're going to zoop over here and to a very small dandelion. Ooh, this is all dying here. One of these days we got to do something about this, but very small dandelion patch. So let's come in and we do need a forester. So uh, plant trees and we're going to do dandelion, dandelions, lots and lots of dandelions. How far can you reach? You could do the entire patch. All right, so we're basically gonna come up to here. Uh, we might as well also clear up a few trees that seem to be in the way of our grand plans. So you might as well go the way of the dodo. You, yeah, you, Ubizur, you come over here. Uh, I, I want to start of a daybreak because we have like one dandelion. Now we actually do have plenty of antidote, which is good. We do have a wonderful little herbalist uh, there to help when they get sick, which is good. Hmm. How is our medical bed situation though? Okay, so what we're gonna do, uh, we are temp, oh yeah, we removed a bunch. We're temporarily going to place some medical beds, you know, just in case. This is gonna change out, but we will make sure that they have plenty of medical beds. In fact, why don't we put some up here as well, such that they have access. To, uh, like, but what's going on here? Sarkon, what's going on? Yeah, 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 it's it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right for me. Maybe not for you, but it'll be all right. Because these guys are gonna make quick work. Yeah, so they already got that one almost done and they'll soon get on to the others. Although, wow, we just chomp, chomping through our trees. So the next thing we're gonna do is finally, finally, come over here and go, boom. Uh, and that is technically deep enough. Right, it is. Now the other thing is, that's not moving terribly fast. So we are going to also start dealing with that, but let's start with this. We, uh, let's come into power and we can do a three-way and then a straight shaft and we can come here what's funny is yeah okay let's we're gonna have to build this up and this is fine enough mainly temporary but let's come in we'll remove the path and this is where uh maybe we should change most of our builders to bots but ah, oh, we don't have free bots oh we already got a sick beaver how the heck did do you get sick? Oh, I, I might know. We'll look at that in a second. So we're going to come in here and we do need to come put all of this here. 
and come in with what we should do. Why don't we do this? Just rotate you around. Oh, it's like, why is it not rotating? It was a four way, silly. Just do our three way, Katie. Uh, come in here. And then we can run power all the way along. Be like, well, that's not going to go super fast. Yeah, I know. So this is where, actually, this actually might be the safe play. Why don't we come in here? And we're going to remove the pathing along here. And then what we can do is, because we do need to shrink this down, we can come out. Uh, and maybe here-ish. Sure, why not? We can start filling this in. Has to come along this height anyways. Are you cutting that off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Have a different plan. And that plan might change. But we have a different plan. And now here, we can come in. And yeah, this should work. We're going to come and do this. Fill all that in. Oop, fill it in, I said. And run it right along. There we go. Now, let's make sure they've got path access. Come right along here. I think that should work. And, you know, we'll see how much we come back in Dynamite at a later date. But I think this is the plan we want. So we'll get tons more power. Starting to churn. Not terribly, terribly fast because this isn't a tight, nice little alleyway. Well, that's about to change. That, sir, is about to change. So that is what the beavers are going to get busy doing here with 13 days left. And they might get lucky enough and not have to go swimming. I think I might have set it up where they should have complete access. Come along here. Build this out. So let's come in and let's just make sure they know what their priorities are, which is this and that. Because until we get this power connected, not a big, big rush. All right, so what we can do is we can let the beavers beaver and build up this and we can start getting more power. Good news, bad news. The good news is these beavers and bots are making quick work of this wall that we need to put in place to uh, basically make the uh, water go faster, whether it be clean water or bad water. Good water, bad water. Uh, but we do have a problem. Uh, as much as they're getting uh, this lower uh, uh, train block in with all the power needs, we have a problem. Uh, I am going to have to send them down here because they, they can't reach this otherwise. Now, I could have done a little path thingy, but, you know, they'd have to undo it, you, you know. So we're, we're prepped for, for uh, <clears throat> some issues. So, but first, we need to get the beavers down there. And we're also going to have to connect the power anyway. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we will turn, uh, make sure we can finish building this. Now... This is all temporary. This I have plans for this to change, but I need to do things here before I can, you know, come back and do the things here. So since we need the power, uh, we need the power now. We are going to come in and connect things up. Now while they're trying to reach all the way back, oh dang it! Oh hang on, maybe hang on, hang on. Let's see if they can truly connect. Priority, get it done, get her done. Can you reach? No, okay, hang on. Will, uh, what about now? Can you reach now? Nope, okay. So we are gonna have to delete at least a couple of these. Not that they were built anyways. Come on in, not yet. A little further. Okay, no? We not connect it somehow? No, you're connected. It's just you need to go even further. Wow. Okay, good thing I didn't build uh, the other way around. What is blocking you? I am confused. 
have a look-see, get a little further, get a little closer. There we go. Just had to get closer, I guess. And that's just further for those poor beavers to uh, travel. Uh, why don't I do this so that when we have extra beavers, they can start thinking about connecting. Power here, rotate that around. And we can just straighten that out there. Now what we can also do, because beavers are gonna have extra time now, because there's only so many that can go up and down without risking them getting caught, uh, we might as well look to uh, fill this in here as well. Oh, you might as well. I, you know, I don't have big grand plans at this point, but I do believe we will want this filled in. If not, that's what dynamite's for. Uh, I am not, uh, I don't have any massive, it's not total, actually it's not totally true. I do have some plans. So what we're gonna do is we will fill in part of this. That is for sure. Let's let's do that. The other thing I'm gonna point out is my little emergency release valve here, Mr. Bot is not working. Uh, even though I have this set to basically supply elsewhere, we have too much bad water in the system. <sighs> yeah, so this contaminated, that's the problem, or is a problem. The other thing, uh, we'll get back to this during the wet season. We'll show with that off, uh, why I put those there. But we just need to slowly work our way uh, front to back. So let me get all this new power connected and up and running. And then we get on to uh, looking how we're gonna put in our batteries. Sacrifices had to be made. Well, they didn't have to, I just, well, no, no, let, let's tell the beavers it had to be made, uh, but between us, uh, no. But we have 14 contaminated beavers, eight that are unwell over here, as you can tell, a couple injured, but uh, that is not due to uh, these instructions. But the good news is we are doing pretty good here for power. Uh, 1800 new power coming on stream, plus some more. I think we can get that sped up if I detonate these two, but boom. Hopefully that will get this water flowing a little better on this side. So then we can start zigzagging it over. Uh, well, not in this boat, but at some point. Uh, now, the other part of the power, we, we do need, actually, oh, we need to do is remove that part of the path. We can put, oh, one more. Come on, one more, there we go. So while they're building lows, we should actually connect the power. So if we come here, it's a dead end, and we are going to remove this temporarily, put in a three-way, boom, boom. We're gonna make that a high priority. Yeah, logs, whatever, we can get rid of those two logs. It's, well, whoa, we only have 185 logs in the system. Ay caramba, that is not good. We should uh, look into that. Um, yeah, that's, we used a lot here, 50 each times a lot. So that's like probably 500 dogs plus maybe six, 700, but it's, it's okay. Uh, this, wow, look at that one, 240. Uh, hopefully, hopefully things speed up. Perhaps what we need to do too is come in through here. And why don't we do a little bit of this? Hopefully that helps get the, the power going a little, a little faster. And maybe even, uh, no, we're not gonna get too far ahead of ourselves. Slow it down, slow it down. We're just here to get some extra power. Okay, what are we at now? We're at 2100. Oh, man, look at that low demand. Well, you know what's probably happened? A lot of sick beavers need, oh, we also disconnected mist of the system. That would be it. Um, you can see 24, actually, this is interesting. 24, 2300 demand here, crying out for it. That's only 1500, wow. Well, I guess we did move a substantial part of our uh, industrial operations over there. We're now connected. We are now finally producing again, more power than demand. Uh, although that might change come morning. So come on, get you done first. 
couple more to come on stream and hopefully a little faster, a little, little faster. And they're like, hey boss, could that not have waited? it? We've got 1.1 days left of the bad water tie. Could not have waited. Nope, nope. Sacrifices had to be made. No choice whatsoever. Uh, so what we do is we need to wait for that and then we can actually just have a quick look. 400 some metal blocks, 200 gears. It's coming along. We're gonna need more. Going to need more, but we can soon start the gravity battery build. The wet season be upon us, but we, we do have problems besides the fact I, I did let in a bunch of contaminated water. But let's come in here and we are going to at least do this. Now this actually might have completely changed up because I've now blocked this off where water was coming in here and it was causing flooding right there. It doesn't appear to be at the moment, but hey ho. Let's just uh, open things up. Boom, 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 boom. That should be good. Hopefully it doesn't cause any, any real problems. Ah, oh, the Lido is back open again. Nice, just don't swim down river. It's gonna be fine. What's not fine is our water. We're down to 2,000 water. We have yet to open uh, this up, which, ooh, that is problematic. I, I, I wonder, did, did, I, did I make a mistake? I may have made a mistake. Now, I will point out, I did come in and drop these train blocks here to hopefully push the water this way. But we might have completely changed the water physics here. Hmm, that is, that is worrisome. Yeah, I am worried I might have made a big, big mistake. Now, there's a couple ways we could try to address it. Like, we are getting water. Purple water. Uh, we are getting water coming through. We just might need a bit of time for it still to balance out. Uh, that is, <laughs> yeah, nervous. Okay, so while we're being nervous and recognizing the fact that we're short on power, we actually are gonna come in and do some temporary power things. And we are gonna unlock the large windmills. So these produce 300 horsepower. So let's come in and unlock these for 1400. And, and I'm leaning towards, why don't we take the opportunity and connect a whole bunch up here. Um, now I am running. This is the challenge. Because if we look here, if I want to connect, I am running a path right through here. Uh, same thing up here technically, although it is disconnected. So why don't we do this? We're going to do this if I am allowed. Oh, you know what we could do? That is T intersection. So let's disconnect you. Yes, disconnect. We're gonna put a four way in. Yeah, 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 yeah. So much easier this way. And then a high power shaft. Thank you. We can run at least one straight shaft. Then I think from here, large windmill. And we're just going to do a very simple wind farm. Nothing special, nothing crazy. We're just gonna fit a number of these in here. You're not happy. Oh, district path. We can fix that. That that is not a problem. Uh, that will be. That will be. There we go. Okay, that's connected. We're gonna run power right along here. Oh, I do need, hang on, hang on. Hmm, can I run a path? Does the path stop us? We need to build you. Oh, if I get rid of you, maybe. There we go, we're fine. Okay, you're fine, everybody's fine. And it looks like everything can be reached. So that is a big, massive investment of, wow, paper, gears, planks. What do we have? Planks we have, gears, uh, not really. Uh, and then we have uh, paper, 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 paper. We have no paper. 
Okay, but we do have one paper mill. So why don't we come over here? We're going to unpause you. And for 1,000 signs, we're going to unlock bots. Actually, you know what we really should do? For 1,500 signs, we're going to unlock the bots in the centrifuge, which is probably a more dangerous job. So we're going to go back to putting a regular beaver in the paper mill so we can start producing some of that. I think we've got a spot for logs. We do. So let's click obtain. We might as well start removing a few things here. So here we don't need the treated planks. Logs we just put in. We do not need gears. Oh, what am I on? Uh, gears. We're not making planks. Not making planks. In fact, we've stopped making uh, metal blocks here so we can get rid of you. And we can empty the scrap yard here. That is good. Hopefully this starts really producing uh, the extract that we do need. Plenty of bad water, not a problem. Oh, thank goodness, fresh water. And we're getting a bit of, well, four day uh, wet season so far. Good news, because wow. Wow, 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 wow. Look at how empty those things are. Okay, well, I think what we gotta do is get things built back up and really, really hope we're getting another bad water tide because, uh, caramba, we need the power. But we're just gonna have to wait for the windmills to come on stream, I guess. So I think with that, we will connect and then we will see you once we get uh, some wind blowing. Uh oh, uh, Houston, we have a problem. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, we definitely changed things up, which is weird. We had water come in here, and now we've got a problem right here. So, oh, it's getting worse, getting worse. Pause, pause, pause. Um, I think what we're going to have to, oh, that's going to make it tight. Uh, oh, do we, okay, hang on. What options do we currently have? We are in the wet season. Uh, hmm. Let's unsynchronize. We're gonna let this water out. We're gonna let this water out. A bit contaminated, but we need to stop the flooding. Got all this water flowing in through here, down here, down into here, and out this way. That is not the intended outcome I was looking for. This is taking some time to fill up as well. That is not, once again, what I intended. So I did have a thought as to what we would do here. Wow, I can even see it backing up. That is not what I thought would happen. I know I choke things down, and maybe it's just going to take a bit for the water to settle down. Ooh, but I don't know. I don't know. Like, that has occurred. We're getting water flowing through, so... Ouch. Not, not what I thought would happen. Not by a long shot. Okay. Well, we're just going to have to let things settle. See how things go while we uh, get prepped and we get our windmills built. Which, if we look here, uh, we're really just short on paper. But that's a big ask considering we've got one little paper mill that seems to be having problems with the logs. So let's prioritize this workplace. See if we can get some more paper produced so we can solve a bit of our power problem. To have a plan of action. Once again, this this might not work out. You might notice, have a little staircase coming down here. This is where the main water source is coming from. And if you notice, most of the water is flowing this way. Uh, it's taking power away. So I am putting some dams in here. So really hoping that will push. Oh my good, like goodness. There's no water flow here. I. That makes, oh, like none. 
So all of this power is now like gone. There's none, 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 none. Um, now I could close this up. So if we do that, but it floods here because there's just so much water that it's actually pushing this way. Flood, flood, flood. So I gotta lower you, keep you lowered for now. And I actually installed this stream gauge. So we're gonna set that up. And basically what I wanna do is, let's see here, flood height gate. Uh, if it is, sorry, the stream gauge, if it's lower than, let's say 0.9, put it up. Uh, okay, I guess that's a little too cheeky. Oh, oh, what goes up, what goes down? Versus, oh, I know, I gotta do this. I gotta raise it. So if it's, oh, huh. am I not doing this right? But it's funny, just pumping, 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 up, down. Okay, it's settled, did not like anything. So here, what is the height? The depth is 0.92 at the moment. So that will keep it. raised and then as soon as it hits in fact we will do 0.98 it'll drop hoping that helps but really what i'm hoping is diverting this now i have plans i have plans but i need power this was supposed to be the power we're building uh some large windmills but it's Taking a while to get the paper. I caramba. I caramba indeed. So, dude, it's working. I have it prioritized by haulers. Oh, I know what we could do. Speaking of haulers, we talked about this. So, we're temporarily going to come in and we are going to do some hauling posts. So, let's do that. And we're just temporarily going to go one, two, three. Four, five, six. I'm just gonna run it right up here. There we go. Full connection. That is, well, that should help. So let's prioritize one of these. And that should hopefully, please. Oh, wow. Hang on, what's going on here? You guys have flooded. That flooding, I think, is about to subside. A new. Okay, it just is what it is, what it is. That's what happens when you muck with things. So I do have some other plans about what to do about the water, but for now, we're just gonna see if this works. But we have a, thankfully, a short drought because we only have 4,000 water. That should be full at the start of a drought. So I think we need to see, we'll get this built and we'll see what happens when the wet season arrives. With the beginning of the wet season, we shall soon see, will this solve my problem that I created for myself? Uh, well, it, it'll take a moment. So we can speed this up, go three times speed. Well, that's as fast as she goes. So what we're really hoping for, and it will start this way, that this will come down here and it will push this way. And I'm hoping the undercurrent will keep it going that way. As more and more water flows out of here, we can start to see, yeah, the world is beginning to turn and we want it to stay that way. As it flows through, let's see the power we're getting. Uh, it, it could be higher, but it's, it's power that we weren't having before, obviously, especially during the dry season. Uh, then we've got a few large windmills popping up, but those are taking a bit of effort because we need power for the paper. Come through here. Now the good news is 
we're actually still dragging up some, picking up some water that's flowing in through our aqua farm, which we're really not farming. Flowing out, this is, this is working as intended, so that is good news. This is not working, so we'll fix that in a moment, but let's have a look-see. As we get through day one, in fact, the nice thing is, this is going to fill up faster. That's nice. Now, we'll see what happens here, too. By the way, this is still flooded from last time. It's fine. That uh, biofuel tank is full, but oops. As you can see, it comes up here. It'll jam up here shortly, and we'll go, I caramba. Let's have a look-see. Okay, power. We're almost meeting demand, which is good. And we should get actually more, because this is not turning really yet. Like, 14 beaver power. That's it. 14 beaver power. Uh, once this uh, starts to fill up, this should begin to actually turn at speed, which would be a good thing. And, of course, uh, if we have a look-see here. 10 more paper! But pretty confident, you know, gears, planks, these are probably all, yeah, gears, planks full. Check some other random ones. Yeah, we are just in desperate need of paper, paper, paper. Okay, it is what it is. Now I did, I can't remember if I showed you this. I did, yeah, I think I did. I've plopped down six hauling posts. I'm like, if you are not working, you come here. Now I do want to make sure though that these are secondary jobs. Okay. So two there, actually, and they're just moving around. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. Actually, what we're going to do too, for 250 signs, yeah, we can afford that. We're going to unlock the bots and we're going to make this one a low priority for the bots. So if bots happen to be free, they can come work here. Now the question is, hauling or building? Hauling or building? Well, we're going to start building soon in theory, uh, but we are hurting, hurting. Oh, we're actually, okay, we're starting to produce positive power. Positive power is good news. And that's without this. So I think we are now at the point where, let's turn you back on and come here. You can be uh, second high priority for bots for extra builders. So at the very least, that should be good. And did our release valve? Okay, this didn't have to open. We seem to have stabilized the issue, at least for now. It's good news. Okay, and maybe it was blowing this up. Maybe that helped, because that might have sped the water up, caused issues. So, you know what, we, oh, might be good, except we got a second flooded building. You, you. Okay, you know what? We're gonna fix two water things here quickly before we get to today's uh, battery build, at least the start of it. Uh, gonna come in here, and we're gonna do exactly what we did in the other channel. So we're gonna come in, set two explosives, go boom, boom, right here. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this. That's gonna go. And we're gonna put a train block right there. High priority, get that going. Fill that back in. And this should do exactly what we need. So go, go, go. Set the boom booms. Oh, and the bots are here. Nice. Oh, and then a beaver. It's like, wait a minute, I wanna set the boom booms. Boom, boom. Okay, so boom booms have gone off. We want a single high floodgate. There we go. And I have an option. Uh, we will put a platform there because we might put a building on it, but without the platform, that's just open water. So not very valuable. And then here, basically when the drought starts, set it up. When it ends, you can lower it. Bad tide starts, you can raise it and then lower it. So ideally what's gonna happen now it's not gonna have this channel flooding. We are gonna have to do something here because yeah, we're just gonna have to put a three by three water dump over here. Ooh, let's slow things down. Let's enjoy the wet season. I'm like, wow, that's going fast. The other thing we're gonna quickly do is up here. This was a big failure. So we're gonna come up here 
And we're gonna put a fluid dump in right there, high priority. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with these floodgates. You know what? We're just gonna get rid of them. Boom, bye. Uh, and then we are just gonna come in and we're just going to fill that right in. Uh, and yeah, cause there's really no big point. We're just gonna keep this full. So you can just keep pumping my dude. Just pump, pump, pump. Pumping is fine. Uh, we'll make that a high priority job because I do want the chestnuts, which we are just having a problem. Probably gonna have to expand the chestnut field. Maybe over here too. Put another one in. Let's think about it. And we're gonna have to figure some things out, but let's, you know what, for now, we are just gonna, this wasn't part of the plan, but it is now. If there's an open spot right now, we are going to put uh, some chestnuts in. How far can this forester reach? To here, to here. Okay, here to here, okay. I think I got it right. Did I get it right? Yeah, I got it right. Okay. So that's going to add some more chestnuts to the farm. Oh, in fact, we can even come out as far as one, two, three. Let's do that. One, two, three. There we go. Okay. Do your thing. Do your thing, dude. Please. Plant. Plant. Uh, and replant dead trees. Not marked for cutting because none of these are marked for cutting. Okay. That is good. All right. Now. I have turns. Oh, you know why our power is doing so well? Is I turned off some things. Oh no! Did this not really work out? It's just going to overflow the banks. Dang it. Dang it. Okay. So plan B. Let's just come on in. And we're just going to do our thing. So first things first, why don't we, we need trees. Oh no, actually our trees uh, have rebounded. So we're gonna come in and for now, I just gonna take maybe from here. So if we get rid of you and we come in and we're just going to come right across, block that off. Now, we will, for uh, just good sake here, just good planning, we are gonna put some dams, or not dams, some floodgates. Now we're gonna have to be able to reach those floodgates, which, man, that's a bit of a waste, but okay. Well, the simple way is, why don't we just put some stairs? There we go. Now this is, this is big priority, because we need the power. So let's just come on in, and we're just gonna go right across, and get it all done, super duper, high priority, uh, let's go beavers. Because I want this water to flow here. This is going to get undone. I'm pretty confident as the drought approaches. But I need the power that we had. Because, uh, yeah, somebody mucked up. Okay. So that's fine. It'll come along. We're going to get these things built, as you can see. Maybe we'll, ah, second high priority. Second high priority. Yeah, because we need, we need the metal. We need the metal. All right, let's see. Let's see what happens here. Now, man, that's, that's really speeding up. So we definitely want to choke water down. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bend it to our will. And that is ensuring it's going in the direction I want it to go. So that's going to choke it off from there. And this should hopefully now, as you can see, we are at zero, 50, okay, see, see? Yeah, just bend it, bend it. Just completely bending the, the water to my will. And that should hopefully continue to grow. Now, obviously there are ways for us to choke this down even further, which we could look at, but for now, mission accomplished, okay. Hey, and more windmills, that is good news. So let's start, let's start getting into what we are here for today, and that is our magical uh, gravity batteries. So talked about gravity batteries, the first power for 400, man, we should've done this a while ago. So 
10 uh, metal blocks, 40 uh, gears, and some planks. Yes, please. Now, the higher the gravity battery, the more battery uh, energy it actually, or energy the battery actually stores. So I was thinking, whoa, of putting some up here, and I still might. Uh, but I, I don't think this is where I want them, at least as of yet. I, I would like to potentially do something a little more interesting here. So, and as well, our industry is all over here. So what we want to do is build up. So there's two ways we can build up. And one is just by, you know, building up and up and up and up. And we can do that, uh, which we, we're going to get to. But hang on. Let's undo that. Now, we talked about a lot of metal, and the reason is if we come into, where are you, where are you? Uh, where did you go? Right here. We have access to the metal platform for 500 signs. 200 metal blocks, ouch. Let's unlock that for 500 signs. And now obviously, uh, well, there's two ways we could do this, and one would be really, really expensive, which is, Come up and oh I can't go up. Oh, that makes that easy. I thought I could, but you can't don't don't go don't go build. Don't go build. So that's definitely not high enough. So the trick is this is where we're gonna do two and one. Uh we're gonna do a nice little uh whatchamacallit? We're gonna come off here and we're gonna build a spire coming up. And I believe we are centered. We are once again, don't build that. And we're going to go up as pretty much as high as we can go. And there might be some stuff that comes out around. Okay, so that's as high as it can go. Uh, now, we might have to bring that back down because we will at least or should be at least able to do this. Isn't that, isn't that nice? Uh, now the question is, and this is I haven't tested, so we're gonna learn together. Can I now do this? I can, yes! So the plan, we're gonna do this, and we left room on the back. Oh, you're not, you're not gonna let me? It's funny, let me go that way. Hmm. All right, I might have to move that in one. Yeah, I forgot to account for the fact that, although this was here, this was right up against the edge of the world. So definitely in a spot for the gravity battery to drop. There we go. Uh, now the question is, can I? No, I was hoping to be really, really cheeky and apparently it's not going to let me, but that's fine. I was hoping to sneak in. Wouldn't that look cool? I don't, hang on, hang on. Let's, let's, let's see if we can make this work. Can I? Uh, too high. So what if I go too high platform? Will that work? Will let me? It will. Interesting. Interesting. So now to really make that work though, it's gonna take some finagling. Why? Because we gotta get the power down. But that shouldn't be a big of a problem. But the bigger problem is, is actually getting that built. So this is centered here. We'll see if these actually fit, but I want it, I want one coming in right behind. Now we are going to stack them up, obviously, to make this work. Now, things that I've learned, we've got to make sure we can reach this as we build up. Okay, so let's make sure one, we can get there. Uh, that is not a path. We can come around here and here. So what we could do, well, we need, we need, and actually, this, this is going to be the time-consuming bit. But uh, yeah, it's well, we're just going to, we'll make this easy uh, on ourselves for the first one, and it should work out fine. 
keep ourselves around here. So we can get this going, lay down the path. And we just need to work our way around. So make sure they remove the trees first. Thank you very much. And I should be able to spin around. Okay, let's do this together, at least to start. Okay, so that has to be, so for the turn, you need two high. And then we can do three, three high. Right, okay, so this should work like, oh, not like that. Simply like this. So what we have, path, path. And I just really need to continue things. And it's going to be a little time consuming affair. Because I also need to make sure I put the staircases in the right spot. So like here, one, one. But then staircase. And now I need to make sure I've got the turn. So I guess I could save some by doing a three high right here. All right, so th this is just, I think, I think I can just go around like this now, just around the pole. Not like that, guys. Don't get your mind out of the gutter. We just go around and around. Now what I'm gonna do, I should put the, I should put the stairs in before I completely get lost. So let me get this going and then we can get uh, some of these operational. Progress is being made, but better than progress, it's it's the wet season again. And this this little floodgate system is working. It is diverting all the water from our main water source down our power channel, which is a good thing. Now we do have oh we do have a lot more of these working. Ho <laughs> ho but uh, most of them aren't connected. So let's let's connect them before we go look at other things. Uh, this is a temporary wind farm until we come up with a better design. Uh, so those go there. And then I should somewhere, somehow, connect the ones that were built on the other side. No. Okay, I know what we can do. What we can do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to come in here. And we're just going to divert the path along the back. And now that he is gone... Let's just disconnect the path here. Actually, almost got it right there. And we can come in and connect right here. Because we need the power. Uh, let's prioritize, 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 prioritize. Those won't take too long. Uh, 116. Yes, much better probably than one of the... Oh, no, 205. Problem is, wind don't always blow. And the rain don't always wet. I mean, the, the river don't always flow. There we go. That's a better one. The river don't always flow. So, but we are making excellent amount of power, which is good news. Because uh, we are having some problems. Uh, well, not terrible problems. But our bots are down. We are just not making them fast enough. Because we have just have not had the uh, the energy. But look at this. Down 100%. So please make the bots. The bots need to be made. Ooh, you need to be prioritized. There you go. Good, good, good. Now we come down here. Uh, haven't touched this at all. Uh, haven't touched this. In fact, it turned back off the aquatic farm. Bad water is starting to fill up. That's fine. Uh, water... Yeah, thankfully it's it's starting to fill up pretty quick. Hopefully we can get these things full before the next uh, drought or dry season. Our, our well-being is doing well, but let's have a see what's coming on over here. We actually are making some great progress. I have three spears or spires, I guess, going up, each with a platform on top. And then here I have a you know, gravity battery. In fact, we're going to have one here as well. What's almost going to be built. Nice. That is good news. Now, the thing is, it's, you know, it's a work in progress. Now, we are going to have to get those connected. Ooh, two of them. Nice. Look at that. 
What is that? One, two, three, 50,000 power to start. Not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. In fact, there's probably a cheeky way we can do a little more. I believe we can go down. Was that one, two or two, three? I can't remember. So that's down one. That's down uh, one to here. Can I go boom one more? I can. I don't think I can go two more. So let's go. Well, I mean three more. So if we come along here. And we prioritize all of these. I'm not sure if it's going to recognize it. Oh, it did. Did you see that? It lost 2,000. It lost 2,000 because of this. So we should see a gain. Um, hmm. Well, let's prioritize. Let's get, make sure we get two built. There we go. There we go. Why do I feel we're not bang on? Because we're not. Let's do that. There we go. So these two can go boom, boom, hopefully. Okay, speed up. Come on. So you think that's the boom, boom here, which means I now need to add a boom, boom, boom here and a boom, boom there. Everywhere, boom, boom. Like one right there. Oh, do we have extract? That's bad water. We should have extract. Barely. Oh, I guess you weren't producing any. So we need the extract. So we can detonate. Don't come next to me. Boom, boom, boom. And what are we at now? 54,000. Nice. So that's 48 because it has that there. These will come in. Oh, maybe I can go down one more. I can. All right. Well, that... That changes everything. So we can remove these. We get one for one back, that's fine. And now we can go triple dynamite, triple dynamite. There we go. Get all that going and it'll be nice. Now, I will say this has been a bit of a challenge. Uh, take some time to come up and do the spiral. Now that we're up there, it's okay. But one of the things with these metal platforms is that you need to be able to reach the base. So I have, well, hang on. One eye built this fella. I had the scaffold and going wrapping right around, as you can see as we go up, wraps right around. But I didn't want to have to do that again over here, so I just ran some set of platforms, which much quicker to build, by the way. Uh, so we have options. I can do that. I just keep going across and across as I need to. Same thing on this side, because just for clarity, I cannot reach this platform, like building this metal platform from this one. They won't toss the metal. See, they're coming right, right here. Coming up. Come right here and they're making the metal platform because they can reach it right there so that takes some time but ooh, they're just knocking these out of the park though although suddenly oh <laughs> oh that was a mistake oh that's gonna hurt okay delete you that's the one spot they can reach at the moment is right there. That was my bad. So they still got more to build. And coming across here as well, you know, we have talked about um, maybe putting, uh, you know, one or two. I think we can do something like this maybe. Too high. And then a large windmill. So something like that, but now I'm gonna have to build up, which this gets tricky. This gets trickier and trickier, uh, the tighter it gets, and it gets very, very finicky. But I have a plan. And if you wanna see with that plan, stay tuned for next time. Thanks for watching, bye for now.